Sponsors are invited.
In Africa, there are over 200 different languages representing distinct peoples and cultural groups. One cultural figure that is common across West Africa is the griot. He has knowledge of the culture and identity of a particular ethnic group or people. The 21 string musical instrument known as the kora is played by great families and the skills are passed from one generation to another. A traditional kora player is called a jali and Bajali Suso of the Gambia is one. This kora was invented by our grandfather called Korea Musa Suso and Korea Musa he got the kora from a place called Bruford in a village called Sanimentary. And Sanimentary was the main place where the kora was hated. So since my grandfather, Kora Musa, he got this kora from Sanimentary, he brought this kora to the, to, to, to the family and he said among us. So one of his only son called Sundu Suso, and Sundu Suso also has a son called Jalimadi Suso. And Jalimadi Suso is the father of my dad. So you can see. So it means that the Kora, it passed from one generation to another. The origins of the Kora can be traced as far as the days of Sunjata Keita, of the Mali Empire. It has been very instrumental in the promotion of development because Kora players wielded a lot of influence then and even served as advisors to royal families and rulers. One of the first European explorers to set foot in Africa, Mongo Park, described the Kora as a large harp with 18 strings in a book he wrote in 1799. Legend has it that the origins of the Kora can be traced to Kore Yang Musa and Jalimadi Wolen. A renowned Kora player in the sub-region, Jaliba Kuyate, who continues to combine ancient and modern tunes, speaks volumes about the Kora. Kora originates from the Gambia. Lately, historians came to believe that 